Yo, what's going on, Blackish fam? I hope all is well and the New Year's off to a great start for everyone. Uh, you know, later, uh, we explored his original work, uh, well, not original, but uh, his work of yesteryear, uh, Bastard, that we got into Goblin. Uh, and I'm just, I'm excited about the hype of Tyler, the creator, right? It's one of, it's my son's second favorite artist. But I hear people, even grown folks, like, yo, you hear that new Tyler? And it's like, I've listened to some of his music. Um, and I, I honestly wasn't that impressed. Uh, but I was like, yo, you know what? Let me actually dive deeper into this. Uh, because I hate to be that dude that's just listening surface level. And I don't really understand the message that he's trying to get across. Uh, so I wanted to go back to his original work and start go revisiting some of his uh, more classic albums. And then I could revisit uh, some of the future stuff. And I think that will give me a better, uh, better context to understand where I can place him in the rap game. Uh, but, yo, as I've been checking out Tyler, the creator, I came across somebody named Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> I have no idea who this guy is. Uh, I don't really know any of his music, um, but I believe... Uh, that he was the founder of Odd Future, uh, which is the, that uh, kind of uh, team that uh, uh, Tyler, the creator, was part of. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, yeah, well, let's just get to it. I don't know how good this guy is, but uh, I know he's got some new work that just came out. Now, th we're going to break down one of his songs called God Laughs. I got the lyrics here for you guys, and uh, we just want to see, you know, is he somebody worth exploring? Uh, what is he bringing to the table? Is he not just talented, but what is his message, right? Yo, without further ado, let's get right to it. Earl Sweatshirt, God Laughs. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know uh, if you know how old he is, but I would imagine he's around the same age as Tyler if they're involved in the same group. So I would imagine early 20s at best, right? The same dust can't stay, I got a clean arcane thing Resort to cantankerous means on the cash We lay right races, the cheese sit in the trap waiting Snap then we break, the sun reaching for me from the waist These days I'm mindful of what I embrace I'm raining on an empty tank spank me Decent. I don't, I don't really know much about it yet, but I want to go back and make sure we don't miss too much. Um, he said, the same dust can't stay. I got to clean or I can't think. Okay, you know, I'm probably a, more of a messy person, but I get it. There's a lot of people that say they can't work if they don't have like a clean desk or so. I don't know if there's any deeper uh, reference there. Resort to cantankerous means on the cash play rat races. Uh, cantankerous, uh, cantankerous, uh, you could say that as somebody who's got a short temper, uh, <clears throat> they're normally like, uh, they're uncooperative, right? Um, they have a short fuse. Uh, so he's saying like, I resort to, uh, could be violence, right? Or I resort to, uh, being frustrated, uh, and, and having a bad temper, uh, when I'm trying to get this cash, right? There's a lot of cash at play. Uh, or he says, rat races, the cheese sit in the trap waiting. Um, that could be a play on words with the trap house, right? Sitting in the trap, trying to get your money right. Uh, snap, then we break. Um, something reaching for me from the waist. Okay, that's that pistol. These things, these days, my mind full of what I embrace. I'm operating on an empty tank. Spank me? What? Above me from the waist, these days I'm mindful of what I embrace. I'm raining on an empty tank, spank me. Fumes fueling a flame. My grandfather spoke 13 languages, somehow never had nothing to say to Blue Raven. Says Hazel Mason. Yo, my grandfather spoke 13 languages, somehow never had some nothing to say. Is, is he saying that, uh, and to, to Boot Raymond? Reference to boot, boot Raymond. Now, I know there's a specific type of cowboy boot that I believe is called the Raymond boot. Uh, so I imagine that's named after somebody. Maybe there's some connection there, but I don't know exactly what that is. Feel free to leave it in the comments if you understand the reference. Uh, I'm a lot older than this cat, so I don't expect to pick up all of the references, especially if they're uh, specific to his world, right? I'm sure we're in different circles. Uh, but yo, he's still saying something here, and I want to make sure I catch it. Nothing to say to Boo 
grand. Since Hazel made sense of it through prayer, booze is repose bravers. He will lay the blue that saved us. Who was bringing? What was that? That's the question mark. He will lay the blue that saved us. Who was bringing? Uh, I know he says booze is a fool's fragrance. Uh, booze that that liquor, right? Fool's fragrance. He will lay the blue that saved us. Who was bringing? Chipped away at day. Body on the road with his mind flailed in funeral wells. No Beluga, no Bob, just moves swung in true pain. I couldn't eat or sleep for seven days. Man, I ain't weak, keep changing for the better. What to do when your job dangles in the middle of the march with mosquitoes chop, angles swamp, marching on on a quest for my lost halo. God, angles swamp, marching on on a quest for my lost halo. God, you know, I. And this, and sometimes it's not what you say, but it's how you say it, right? You ever look at two people that are coming at you with the same thing? Like there could be, uh, and you see, you hear a lot of rappers referencing this. They'll be like, "Man, anybody could do what Eminem can do, right? Uh, man, any white boy could do it. If I were white, I'd be just as popular as he is." I'm not taking that from you, but I'm saying sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it that makes you popular, right? Your inflection, your cadence right your tone uh, your story you pull people in right people that are good storytellers like slick rick or nas uh, will tell you that uh, you know they're painting a picture right look at black thought from the roots right I, I referenced this before in another video but he goes uh when uh what does he say something when photos uh with sepia tone and record players were something you would keep in your home the benefit of the doubt I want to at least check out his music, but man, this cat's a, a little monotone right now, right? It's not enticing me to want to dig into his other work. And yo, if you're a fan of Earl Sweatshirt, I know I got some Tyler the Creator fans on this channel. Let me know. How do you feel about his work? Are there songs that I should look at that might give me a better uh, indication as to who he is as an artist? Because uh, yo, I'm not going to lie. I try to keep it as real as possible with this. I'll review the work. Uh, but I'm, I'm really not impressed. I don't, it's only a minute 25. Um, but yo, we gotta, we gotta come better than this, right? Swamp, marching on on the quest for my lost halo. Is that it? Ah. You know, uh, uh, you know, I'd be lying to you if I told you I wasn't a fan. Uh, he's saying some things the same way that Tyler would, uh, but he doesn't have that effect of Tyler. Um, so, yo, I, yeah, you know, not really a fan from what I've heard so far, but let me know if I, I'm not going to give up, right? I'm not going to give up on somebody that's pursuing his dreams and putting his work out there. I'll give him another shot. Let me know what I should check out.